Hi everybody, so I'm going to show you guys what a box for the beehive looks like. Okay, so this is a medium sized box, this is a smaller box. You can have deeps that are a little bit deeper, um, but basically this is what they look like. It's just four, four pieces of wood nailed together, mine are painted, um, half of mine are white and the other half are yellow. Um, they generally say the lighter colors are better for bees, but you can kind of paint them whatever color you want. Uh, but this is what the frames look like, okay? Um, now, these frames are coated, but let me show you what they look like not coated. And then I'll talk to you about what it means to be coated or not. All right, so this is kind of what the box looks like without the frames. <laughs> And there are little grooves in here which hold the frames up, okay? Um, this is a Langstroth type hive, which is just a different kind. You might have heard of something called a flow hive. Um, but these are kind of the traditional, what most beekeepers use. Um, you can make your own, you can buy yours. I bought mine on Amazon. And um, you assemble them yourself. It's pretty easy to assemble. Um, but this is what they look like. This is the black plastic foundation. They call it foundation, but it's the frame. And here's a fun fact for you. Bees hate when it's just uncoated frames. They don't like the plastic. And if you don't have bees, like, so a lot of them are coated when you buy them. I did not know that they were sold uncoated because I was brand new and these are not coated so when i put my very first frames in and my bees they started being all crazy with the comb so they're supposed to just kind of build their comb right on top of here and you can see each of the little cells these are the cells that the queen lays her eggs in these are the cells where they store pollen they store nectar they put honey in all in these little cells so what they're supposed to do is build their, their comb, their frame, their, their honeycomb on this frame, right? And, and kind of follow the same pattern so you can pick these up out of the box without them all sticking together. But with mine, when I did not coat them with wax, they started building all up crazy. So it was just a mess. Um, so let me show you now just what they look like when you put them in the box. See how they just all fit in there. These are the ones that I have coated and I'm gonna to talk to you in just a second about how to coat them if you do get them uncoated. But all of these are my coated ones. And you see how they just fit right nicely into the box. And so this is how you're gonna start when you add your bees. Okay, and I have coated them all but a couple just because I wanted to be able to show you how to coat them if you need to. All right, so I'm gonna prop you back up here. Um, so I, this is just a little bit left. <laughs> I did have a big bar, but this is some beeswax. This smells so good too. So the bees actually make this and what I do to coat the frames. And I have to say, some people said, if you just put the wax in the middle, that that will be enough to encourage them to draw out on the frames but in in my experience that did not happen so i had to coat the whole frame so what i did when i made my mistake and realized that they were all drawn up become crazy i got them all back out kind of brushed the bees off and coated every single frame now there's three frames that i did not get a chance to coat because they just were already full of you know brood and everything um but you have to coat the whole frame. And I also sprayed it with sugar water when I put them on. But to get the beeswax, you can either buy the beeswax online or I just posted in a local beekeeping group about beeswax. And someone gave me um, three bars that were about this big where they had just melted it down um, and made these bars. And this is what I have left. I've already coated 30 frames now, so well, 28 frames. This is all I did. I'm just rubbing. Sorry, it's loud. I, I won't be able to record this outside ever when there's not noise, I'm sure, because 
I live next to a busy road. Um, but anyways, I'm just coating this with the beeswax. And again, this is just to help the bees want to draw out here on the comb. Because if they're uncoated, guess what? They won't do it right. <laughs> um, because, I'll show you. What you want to be able to do when you do your beehive inspection, which you know we'll talk about at another time, you want to just be able to pull the frames up and look at them and inspect, see if there's eggs, see if you can find the queen. And so ideally, you could just pick up each of these, right? That's, that's the goal, and that's why you want them to draw it out the right way. So there's that. This is what a box looks like. So again, this is the medium. The deep is about that much bigger. It's about maybe twice the size of that. Um, and most people do, well, you could do whatever you want, but I have two deeps and I'm gonna put this medium on top here soon. So you basically start out with one box, one deep box. And once they draw out, once they have built their comb on at least eight of these frames, so 80% of the box, then you add another box. And you don't want to add the box, a second box, too soon because what happens is it leaves all this extra space above for like moths and other invasive creatures. So you don't want to add another box until they have drawn out eight of these frames, right? Also, you want to make sure you do give them the space that they need because if you don't then they might swarm which means that the queen decides she does not have enough room to lay and she flies away so we don't want that to happen right um so that is that's a little bit about the boxes and um yeah there you go